Oh, it looks like that fan motor got here. This was uh, sent by Miles Gifford. And it got here in just about two days, it looks like. I'm going to open it up in the workshop and uh, see, see how it looks. Okay, it looks like the field coils are in here. Okay. The cable even looks real similar to the Burns Air King uh, power cable. Coils look like they're in good shape, not burned at all. Let's see what else we've got on the package here. Okay, here's the rotor. It looks like the uh, shaft diameter is a little different. We may be able to reuse the old rotor from the Burns Air King unit. This may be, uh, let's see, I can tell that the shaft, here's the old Burns motor. It looks like the shaft diameter is a little bit different. We may be able to, to just shim out the blade or something. Probably, for, I know we can find some way to get it to work. Here's the rotor. And let's see, the other part of the housing is in here. Here's the rear rear bearing with the oil port in it. Try and put these together and see, see how they fit. We'll take a look at rotor diameter now. It looks like the rotors are different diameters too along with the shafts. This one's a little bit smaller. Here's the old Burns uh, rotor. Let's we'll see how it goes back together. It looks like I may not be able to interchange the uh, the uh, armature here with this rotor. You may be able to uh, get the old motor working or put new bearings on it if it's got a bearing problem. Okay, I've got the motor. I tried assembling it and I noticed that it's having trouble with this rear bushing. Now I, I filed it out a little bit. I'm also working on the motor shaft. I've got the motor shaft here in the drill and I'm going to grind off a little bit of the shaft to, and, it, and it's helping. I think I might need to polish up the shaft a little bit more. So uh, Organist 1982 here is going to video me while I do the drill uh, procedure on the shaft. Okay, I've got the rotor in the drill now and I've got a file here. So I'm just going to run it fairly slowly and just polish off the end of this. Try and remove any scoring on it. This is a method that we've done also for phono drive wheels. So hopefully this will improve it enough so that it will run smoothly. Okay, I know I've improved it some here because before it was totally locked up in this rear bushing. Now it's running fairly freely. Just put a little bit of oil on here. I've got some LPS2 penetrating oil here. Reassemble it here. This may not may still need to get a new bearing, but we'll see how this might work. Put the motor back together. Okay. okay, here's the reassembled motor. It is turning, so we may try uh, hooking it up to electricity here and see see how the completed unit runs. We've now got an ohmmeter test on the windings, and we've got 19.2 ohms from uh, across these two leads here. One lead is striped, so I think that's probably the common. So we're going to uh, hook it up with the short test lamp, give it a test here. Now I'm going to try it with the short check lamp. I've got it wired up here with this lamp in series, so in case there's a short, nothing will get damaged. Okay, and now I'm going to plug it in. 
a little bit of noise, but it is running. Maybe at the front bearing that the noise is coming from. Here's the test lamp up here. You can see the lamp is glowing dimly, which indicates that uh, it's not drawing too much current.